Alrighty, what is going on guys? Rushed you here and welcome back to episode 2 of Let's Make a Minecraft Forge mod for Minecraft version 1.6.2. Now today we're just going to go over the base mod, which is just the mod that's going, or the class that's just going to load the whole mod up. And then next we will do um, an item or a block, probably an item, uh, because uh, we're just going to follow along, you know, to the thing so we're gonna go like item and then we're gonna do the block of that item and then we're gonna do another block which is gonna be the ore so that's gonna be ore and then we'll do tools and then I don't know what we'll do then maybe we'll do something else but anyways uh, let's go ahead and open up Eclipse and uh, we're just gonna you know link to your workspace click OK let it uh, load the workbench here now while this is loading I should uh, uh, note that there is a form that I'm going along with here to sort of help us out and uh, I'll link that in the description below for this uh, video welcome back uh, to crisis hub uh, if you don't know me I'm rush you RG my uh, YouTube and Twitter should be in the description go ahead and follow it as long as the as well as the link to the minecraft forge wiki that includes this tutorial all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go well, I guess I should explain that. So you're gonna right click and you're gonna click new class. Now you're gonna name this whatever your mod is. So mine's gonna be tutor tutorial. <laughs> Sorry, mod. Now um, this doesn't have to look like this. I just like my uh, classes to look like this. Uh, so we're gonna hit finish. It's gonna build our class and let it load up. And there you go. Here is the basic thing to our. Uh, the basic build of our first class. So you're gonna want to go down once, and then go down another time, and we're gonna have to write out our imports. So just to let you know, we are doing all of this from scratch. You're not going to go ahead and copy paste because I think it doesn't feel right. So now we're gonna type in the following. So just uh, make sure you follow along, I guess. So we're gonna do import space c oh cpw dot mods dot fml dot common dot capital mod and then semicolon and enter that's your first import next one is import cpw dot mods dot fml dot common dot mod dot init nope init there you go now the next one is Hold on, that shouldn't happen. Mod dot I N I T. Huh. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but uh next thing you're gonna do is CPW dot mods. Oh whoops, I didn't do import. Im <coughs> import CPW dot mods dot FML dot common dot mod dot in instance how do I spell it? instance there you go semicolon now you're gonna do import cpw dot mods dot fml dot common dot mod dot post and it and then oh whoops that's not supposed to happen dot post in it and then import cpw.mods.fml. These are all common. And then, alright, so dot common. And then we're gonna, just for sake's purpose here, we're just gonna go ahead and go over here and hit control C. And then dot common dot mod dot pre dot pre in it so it looks like we don't need those really but I'm just gonna keep them there because the form post says we need them and on my other mod I needed them so then we're gonna copy V so we're gonna paste and we're gonna do dot event dot side sided proxy Okay, and did I spell it wrong? 
dot common. Oh, I don't need dot event. My bad. That's the next one. And then import C. Oh, hold on. Just might as well paste it. Dot common dot event dot fml initialization event. I think this is the one that's a little buggy, but uh, no. Okay, it's the next one then. Import uh, all that, and then dot event. I know this is a lot of typing. This whole series is going to be a lot of typing. fml uh, post init uh, initialization, <laughs> sorry I can't spell, event, I think I spelled it wrong, no, who's a baller, uh, dot common dot event dot pre-initialization <laughs> event, alright, uh, hold on. I guess it's, hold on, it's pre-initialization event. I guess, I guess that's the one that's buggy, but we'll, it'll eventually put it in later, um, by itself, because we'll have to have that anyways. Alright, so, import dot common dot network dot network mod. Alright, those are all of our imports for now. You'll have more later, believe me. And then underneath this, I'm going to go down one, and we're going to do at mod, and then one of those wonderful things, and we're going to do mod id equals uh, rush urg tutorial. Alright. And then we're going to do that, and our comma, name equals rush, oops, rush u rg tutorial, there we go, and then another comma, and version equals uh, 1.0, nope, not 2.0. 1.0 and then we're gonna go out of those parentheses go down and do at network mod and then client side required equals true and then server side required equals false. Alright, and then and then you have your public class, which is right there. Now we're going to have to go down to the public class, we're going to go down one, and two, at, oh whoops, at instance, wait, instance, and then, uh, I think this is tutorial mod, and I'm Right, tutorial mod, and then public stat oh, static tutorial mod instance and semicolon. Okay, and then go down to and do. Um, at, oh, whoops, sided proxy, and then client side equals, alright, so this is where it gets a little tricky, so you're going to do rushed you rg dot tutorial mod dot client oops dot client is that a small client? yep dot client proxy and then you're gonna go out of that yep and you're gonna 
gonna do a comma. I'm gonna do server side equals rush you. Well, you're gonna do you're gonna do your package here, so you know how mine's rushed you. Dot tutorial mod, and yours is gonna be whatever your name is, and then your mod, and then dot client dot proxy, and then you're gonna do your name dot your mod. So tutor, tutorial mod dot common proxy, and then you're gonna go down and you're gonna do public static common proxy and then proxy now you're gonna get an error here don't worry uh, we'll fix it in a few minutes we're gonna have to just finish up writing all of these all of this code so we're gonna do at event handler and then we're gonna go down public Hold on. Public <coughs> void load. See, this is the only part of the uh, mods that I have not like, or oops, or that I haven't um, memorized because it's so long and there's a lot of code to write. But I know how to write everything else. So public void pre init fml pre initialization. This is why you need all these imports, by the way. Event, space, event. And then you're gonna go space, open bracket, and then down. And then there should be a closed bracket that appears. Go out of that closed bracket. And then you're gonna go down again. And you're gonna go at event handler. And you're gonna go public void load parentheses fml initialization event and then event you're going to do the same thing and then open bracket and then this should hold on there you go you had to import it as it didn't have it before all right and then you're going to have that oh and you have to import that okay I didn't know that. Uh, I guess that's not on here. So then you're gonna come down, and then you're gonna go another at event handler. And you're gonna do public void post init, and then fml post initial uh, initial initialization event event space and open brackets down and done all right so this is what you need so far so if you don't have all this just make sure you go back and you um, just make sure you go back and uh, write all this down now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to do the proxy class which is right here now as you see there's an error here and uh, so what we're pretty much gonna do since we have the skeleton for it already uh, what you're gonna have to do is so right here proxy classes um, let me just bring this over really quickly onto the other screen to show you guys what I'm talking about so this part of our code which we have right here is right here okay so we have that part of the code now, once now that we have that part of the code, we're actually going to go and uh, create the proxy class. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do common proxy create class. So now I'm just going to do that dot common proxy, and then now here is all this code that we're going to have to write for it. I'm going to go ahead and move this back over so I can look at it and write it at the same time. By the way, this link for all this will be in the description if you would rather use a text tutorial. So pretty much what you're going to have to do is um, right here so oops. Um, I don't think we have to do any imports yet no no imports on this one so then you just do public public void load register renders 
ren render first, and then you do one of these, or uh, I think those, are, yeah, parentheses, and then open bracket, and then down there, and then come up here, uh, public void, oh, just public void, no load, my bad, there you go, and then that's all you need for that one. So you're, right now, I would recommend clicking save all, and then you can click out of that. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come down to here, you're going to click new, and you're going to click package, and it's, you're going to name it the same thing you had before, so rushurg dot tutorial tutorial mod, and then you're going to do dot client, and you hit finish. And then you're going to click new class, and then you're going to name it client proxy. All right. So now in here you're going to do public class client proxy, and then you're also going to have to write some imports here. So you're going to go down import net dot minecraft forge dot client dot minecraft forge client and then import uh, rush you rush you rg dot tutorial two Tutorial mod dot common proxy. All right, there you go. Now you're going to do public class client proxy extends common common proxy. All right, and then you're going to do you're going to go ahead and come down here and you're going to do at override and then public void oh void and then register render same thing you had on the other one right there and then you're gonna go over open bracket down and there you go and you're gonna click save all and then close that one and you're done for that and that pretty much is the base mod of your mod. I mean, that's a lot of typing, but uh, I will link this in the description if you're uh, if you're one of those people that likes to um, copy paste. But if you actually want to learn the code, the best way to do it is just write all of it out, like I just did, which I'm still trying to learn this whole pre the pre-initialization base mod I guess you can say but uh, the next mod that we're going or the next uh, episode will be um, will definitely be an item so <clears throat> now that we have our base mod we can start working on actual other um, items and you can start adding stuff into your game so anyways guys make sure you click save all and that's all I got for you today uh, see you later crisis hub make, uh, my channel will be in the description uh, Twitter will be in the description as well as the wiki that I have here. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.